ever since Trump's stunt at McDonald's, a lot of people have been talking about whether or not he would even be able to work there. So I wanna talk about that. I'm Eliza Orland's career public defender in Manhattan for the last 15 years. And in fact, some folks have gone remarkably viral by saying that the irony is that Trump's 34 felony convictions would prevent him from getting a job at McDonald's. Well, that might not be true. But I did think this was a good opportunity to talk about the reality for people with felony convictions who are trying to find work. In many cases, it's not as easy as shutting down a franchise and then stepping behind the counter. People who have felony convictions often do face serious barriers to finding employment, including at fast food places. However, McDonald's, which is typically franchised locations, can have varying hiring practices depending on the individual location. Here behind me is a manual for corporate McDonald's that has all of the ways in which people can apply for jobs. What personal data is required, how that data is used, and the privacy policies with regards to how that data is handled. Now they do say here that the candidates must disclose criminal records when they are participating in the application process, but that it will only be shared internally and not publicly. Now, in fact, I scrolled through McDonald's entire human rights policy, everything from their commitment to human rights and understanding the McDonald's system to their policies and standards, safeguarding vulnerable groups, their strategy, uh, the governance with respect and for human rights, and it goes on and on and on. I read about child labor and managing human rights focuses and both for suppliers and for crew and customers, diversity, equity, inclusion, diver uh, discrimination and harassment. I read it all so you don't have to and there is nothing in there that says specifically whether a criminal record would be a bar to employment with McDonald's. In fact, they say a lot with regards to mm, safety but with also an eye towards treating everyone with dignity and respect um, non-discrimination policies. So again, I think it's up to the individual franchisees and it's not so simple. There's no cut and dry policy. So I think the hiring practices vary from franchise to franchise. Some places are willing to give you a second chance depending on what you, felony you were convicted of, whether it was a non-violent felony, whether it was a felony involving what they call moral turpitude, uh, and Trump's might fall under that, by the way, because it is something that involves fraud, which they believe is a crime of dishonesty. So it's unclear whether or not he would be eligible for hire at McDonald's. But I think that the thing that bothered me about all of this and the whole discourse is that with Trump's privilege, his felony conviction hasn't even stopped him from running for the highest office in our land, let alone would it ever stop him from getting a job. Whereas most people who've served time, who've had felony convictions, are prevented from employment. I would encourage everyone to check out the Ban the Box movement, which aims to remove questions about criminal history from job applications. But even where these reforms exist, oftentimes people are judged by their past history and not by who they are in the moment. And so these types of things are really important that we have real reform, but also that we allow for rehabilitation. And the next time you see someone putting on a show, just remember there are real people whose lives are at stake here and they deserve better.